Welcome, one and all, to Ace Light for the season of Halloween 2023. On this night, I give you seven song arrangements, which is the most ever at an Ace Light. They are usually five. <laughs> Why didn't I think of Ace Fright? God damn it. <laughs> oh, my chat is one-upping me. Fine. <laughs> You can one-up me on puns, but I'm gonna one-up you on music. Let's get into the first song. Metroid Prime, yeah. <laughs> that one wasn't on the community forum. Azran added that himself. <laughs> Mondo's dashing to the kitchen, and no one is here to listen. I am kidding, he can still hear me, and there are others in the glee. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Magmore Caverns. I mean, it's not the spookiest track in the world, but when you put some power on the piano. <laughs> Is it really not part of the Prime series? I don't know. 
I haven't gotten to two and three yet. But anyway, I had never played any Metroid music, and they released a game called Dread, so like, it was time. It was time for the Halloween push. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> My person in chat means the prime numbers. That's a math joke. Which I should have gotten because I'm a math teacher. <laughs> well, well. Uh, I guess there's nothing else for it but to pick a different number that is also not prime. And is in fact less than one. And that represents the amount of escape, escape you have. Here we go from Virtue's Last Reward. Say the number was zero, which is also not prime. 
So de definitely no Metroid Zero. Ignore Metroid Zero Mission. That's not Prime. That's a regular Metroid. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I pl I've played some Zero Escape. Some spooky stuff happens. Uh, breaking down that medley, we had Orchestra, which is used in the ending theme. Uh, that went into the song called Clarification, which is a song that plays when you get a major back backstory drop. Uh, and then, of course, the one song that I had to play from the game, which was named uh, Portentousness. Well, actually, there's two songs that sound alike, and one is portentousness, and one is, like, eeriness. But, like, either way, the adjective is what we want for Halloween. So, there you go. That one did come out of the community forum. It was going to just be portentousness, but then I learned some other stuff. Um, I think maybe I don't remember. It might be. But yeah, there was a good amount of the set list where I started just doing one song and then I got ambitious. <laughs> so, so that is not the only medley that you will be hearing tonight. <laughs> There's at least two more. <laughs> But as for the third track, this one is not a medley. It's an original that's been rearranged for Halloween. Here we go.
Yay, Monstrous Souls isn't doing all the heavy lifting for Halloween anymore. Yay! <laughs> As a reminder, that one, that the original version is in a different key and is on the Cover the Distance album. All right for that. And we're just about halfway done with the main set list. Because <laughs> this is a longer Ace Light, Ace Fright thingy. So, woo! That's not too late if you got headphones. This is an audio experience. I shall now hydrate myself. So consider this the five second intermission. And that's been five seconds. <laughs> All right, let's get back to video games for a bit. There's one more original coming up later. <laughs> uh, but back to video games. The one that I will play next escapes my memory. So I love when that happens. I will click the title and then play the song. <laughs> Again, it started out as just the 
When I was planning for this, that was just going to be the carnival theme from Big Boo's Hunt, and then it just kept going. <laughs> is it sinister? <laughs> because that is something. You're also trying to find the correct word for word. Flabbergasted. <laughs> I appreciate the love for E minor. It's a great key. It, some of my originals are in the key of E minor as well. They are not in this show tonight, but there are songs that I've played in E minor. It's a great key. It's a pretty major key, despite how minor it is. Uh, that was the fourth song, right? I'm not losing count here. <laughs> Wow, your ice cream either melted or got consumed very quickly. <laughs> that was song number four, right? Because I need to know if I'm pulling up song number five. <laughs> I think I know which one is next, and I think it will probably be one of Mondo's highlights of tonight, but we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Glad to see you loaded up. You know you can swear here, right? This isn't the twins. I mean, like, technically, because, like, I mean, one of my song titles is Bitch. So, like, <laughs> just be sure the offer is out there. <laughs> it's probably just an automatic reflex. Anyway, song five. Let's hear it for song number five. I do believe I'm going to click the button and it's going to say Sea of Stars Medley. Oh, sorry. Sea of Stars Halloween Medley. Oh, the lights turned off. I think I accidentally activated the timer some time ago. Let's hope this works. On red. <laughs> Eight notches of blue. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, back to normal. Yeah. See if stars medley. Because I haven't played enough music from this game yet.
Okay, so I realized I forgot to break down the Mario 64 medley earlier, and then I'll break down that medley. So in the Mario 64 medley, we had the um, carnival theme from Boo's Haunt, and then an E minor version of Peach's Castle, and an E minor version of Bowser in the Dark World. And so I see of Stars Medley, some of that might be a little harder to recognize because of how drastically I changed some of it. So the beginning is actually Garl's theme song. <laughs> it can sound a lot more cheerful when you want it to. <laughs> uh, and then it gets into one of the overworld themes, and then the Cursed Woods, and then the battle theme, but in a minor key, and then the boss theme briefly at the end. Also in the minor key. Oh, woo! Save stars. Good game. <laughs> Alright, I'm sure people are itching for the post shell. But I got two more predetermined songs. And so, let's see, second to last song is an original. Another rearrangement for Halloween. This time it's Hang On. Also, off cover the distance.
one quick little water thing and then I will explain what's happening with the final song which I saved for last because I'm probably the most excited to share that one which is saying something after the last six <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the results here, but I had plenty of time to practice for this. I mean, I still could have used a bit more time to practice. I did get pulled away from Sonic Symphony, and I did get sick for one week. But that's neither here nor there. We're here now. Alright, this last one. The last one that I am very, very excited about because it's not just a Halloween arrangement of some beloved video game music that I think is going to sound great, but it's also very personal to me and this channel. For you see, in the year of 2023, I went on a harrowing journey. And you know where this is going now. Through the world of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Fair enough, Mondo. I went through the harrowing journey of Final Fantasy VII. It was a blind run of the game. A beloved classic RPG. And eventually, I made it all the way through to the end. When did I say heroin? Ha heroin. I'm going to spell this. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't in the chat box. So that the audience at home can learn. This is the word I was trying to say. <laughs> anyway, because it was a blind run of a classic RPG, we had our struggles. And by we, I mean me. I had all the struggles. There were so many particular parts of the game that are haunting me because of how bad they were for me. I disliked them heavily. So, all the songs in this Final Fantasy VII Halloween medley are based around the particular areas of the game that treated me the worst. <laughs> And you can still like Final Fantasy VII as much as you want, and I still say the game is good overall. I, I'm not out here trying to call it a bad game. I liked it enough to finish it. <laughs> but there were certain sections that are giving me nightmares, and that is why this is the Final Fantasy VII Nightmare Medley to cap off Ace Light 2023. Hello, Bacon. Don't worry, I'm saying this is the last song, but there will be a post-show, so there's still plenty for you to listen to. Enjoy.
All right, welcome and thanks for the three bits and first time chat cypher black 89 came in right at the last song of the main set list and thank you to all who have attended ace light halloween 2023 so far for the live audience we keep going and we may be able to make that request happen it depends if i know the song but for the youtube audience this is where the vod is gonna cut off so yeah hopefully these seven songs were enjoyable and spooky <laughs> 